Hey, what's up guys? Russ with RWG Research. I'm out here in the outside lab, which I have destroyed because I haven't been out here, so I've been picking through some old electronics. But uh, I got this new camera, a uh, sunglass camera from uh, Reagan here, and I just got done doing a live session. And I know last time you guys said the uh, lighting was pretty bad. It kind of made the video flicker, and I think I fixed the uh, time, so make sure that's right, and the date. Um, but I got I just got done doing a live session on Justin.tv. Uh, you guys can go back and watch that video. It'll be on there for a while. I think the other one's even maybe still on there. Might not be, but I think like seven days, I believe, is how long it'll be on there. It's about, I think it's a little less than two hours. You can skim through it too, but you can see I've uh, finished this test cell, turned down some parts, and uh, did some other stuff. But, but I want to show you this, and I want to see if this lighting's any better out here as well. So here we go. So uh, this is the test cell. Um, I do have to go back and put a little bit of glue around these connectors. I would like to put some springs in between those two connections like I was talking about on the video. Um, basically this threads into the bottom center piece. And then I made this bushing here. And the reason I did that is because I had this hole right here. And this hole is going to be for laser injection. I'm actually going to take that high powered laser and um, run it directly into that thing. Um, laser beam, a real laser. It's right at about 100 and, or I mean 632 nanometers I believe. Thought oh, what the heck, I put a little injection port there and we can test it out. Um, it's going to reflect in there a little bit. It'll be enough to maybe make a difference. Um, Basically, I have turned down an end cap and put a plug here. This is an inlet, and you can see the hole in the bottom. And then it goes up through the bottom in between the two plates here, out the top, and out the top. Okay, so there it is. That's just a little test cell. I can call it a, uh, a rustic test cell, uh, but it is a resonant cavity type cell. We'll be doing testing for Stan Myers VIC and uh, all the other good fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, pretty neat. I'm going to have to go back and seal the in between here and here and the input. Uh, the here, here and here actually are, you can pressurize this, and it actually holds pretty good pressure. So the end caps are actually sealing very nicely. Um, I will be putting a little bitty dowel pin in here just to hold that in place, or a little screw, or just something to hold it from sliding out. This one cannot slide out because it has this here. Uh, fitting threaded through the outside plastic, but uh, it, it actually doesn't leak out of the ends um, It's actually leaking from the uh, Oh, that's kind of neat. It's actually le leaking from the little injection port Where I've got the screws the electrical connector You can see how the you can see how the air flows through it. That's how the gas is going to flow through it But anyway, there will be um, when all said and done, there will be fluid constantly running through here and cycling. And there will be a static, uh, electrostatic filter, which is what Stan used. And that's it. So, this is Ross with RWGresearch.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the live footage and go watch it. It'll be a rerun. And uh, peace and love. Share the word. Later. Oh, I will be updating my website soon, so I'll give you a heads up when, it, when it's good to go. All the patents and everything else will be on there as well. Alright, see so if I can shut this thing off.